another day another tool this time we are going to have a in depth look at minds tv minds tv is a platform for customizing ai from enterprise data with minds tv you can deploy serve fine tune and do lot of stuffs with models in real time utilizing data from databases vector stores or applications to build ai powered apps using universal tools developers already know it is best described by looking at this diagram at the very top layer you have your own application it could be a modern serverless application using things like such as aws lambda or cloud functions in gcp or it could be your legacy application written in any language or it could be an ai powered application which is already using retrieval augmented generation agentic application or whatever there is then you integrate it with minds tv minds tv provides you out of the box llms which in return are integrated with either open ai or olama or any other model provider and then it also lets you automate your workflow around those models you can deploy your models fine tune train and version control those models within that minds tv and you access that minds tv either through very familiar sql or structured query language syntax or through rest api with http methods or you could even use python sdk javascript sdk and then there are few other things which are still in the pipeline towards the very end it gets integrated with your databases and it could be any database it could be your data warehouse it could be your cloud database your on prem database your relational database your no sql database vector database time series uh, data store whatever so all in all seems like a good tool so in this video we are going to first install it locally and then we are going to integrate with open ai in because i'll it's a big software i will also be covering its integration with olama but in a separate video but, but for this one we are just going to install it locally first and then we are going to integrate it with open ai same methodology will be used with any other integration and that is a good thing about this minds tv okay so let's get started and i want to give a huge shout out to mast compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus you will also get a coupon code of 50% discount on range of gpus this is my ubuntu system and my gpu card is this nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram let me clear the screen and now let me first create a conda environment where i will keep everything nice simple and separate i'm just calling it minds db let's wait for it to get created one thing you would need to pre-install is docker because this uses docker to get installed and as you can see that our conda environment is created i already have docker installed and this is the docker version if you don't know how to install docker please search the channel and you should be able to find a couple of videos around it so now before we run docker we need to give it some of the permissions to the socket that is also done and now let me run the docker uh, command to first download and then run this minds db so here we are simply running it we are calling this container um, minds db dash t means that it is it will be in the detached mode so whenever this is done it will return the control to your terminal and then we are mapping the ports for front end and back end for minds db let me press enter it has been unable to find the images locally so it is going to download them from the net and then it is going to down install them after extraction so let's wait for it to get finished it shouldn't take too long this is the only big one the 481.8 mb one the rest of them are quite short so download and extraction is done and your minds db is installed that is how simple it is to install now if you want to access it all you need to go do is to go to your browser in the local machine from there access it on localhost or um, 127.001 that is a localhost ip at port 47334 once you do that 
just keep retrying after a minute it takes bit of a time to containers to come up and that is done you see now this is the whole thing there is to it let me just make it that bit bigger so that you would be able to see it more clearly now the great thing is that it already has the sql editor it has uh, some of the minds to be own stuff there don't worry about it this is a mysql stuff on the right hand side you see that there are few tutorials if you click on integration tab these are all the integrations which you can check there's a pg vector aws redshift which is a data warehouse open ai and then you name it there are over 200 integrations available how good is that so for example if you want to go with open ai just type open ai here or olama so and then you can see mysql let's see oracle so whatever you um, can think of i think it should be there now first step you need to do in order to uh, integrate these integration is to click on this settings button on the bottom left click here and then click on manage integrations just maybe type open ai and it is already installed by default if not just simply just you know select that checkbox like this one click on install and it is going to install it for you whatever integration is there then let's go back to sql editor click on this sql editor icon in the top left and this is our sql editor here and now first up we need to create uh, a machine learning engine seems like a big word but it's a very simple command which you run in sql editor so because we are integrating it with open ai so if you would need the open ai key so for that you would need to go to platform.openai.com and grab grab your open ai key from there and then click on run and it is going to create your ml engine and that is a paid option so let me set my open ai key here and then i will run it by clicking here and then i will clear the screen so let me quickly do that so i have set my key and you can see in the bottom section the query successfully completed that is good and now let's create our model by creating our model means that we are initializing our model here so we are just specifying that we are using that open ai engine which we created previously and then we are calling the question column as question so click on run it is going to take few seconds and it is going to when it finishes you will see that it will say successfully completed there you go so model is initialized and it is active and then it is generating the inference if you want to serve it to your user or you want to do whatever you want there you go so there are a few of the options which you can set okay now let's do the inference with it for the inference all you need to do is to run this command which is select question answer you can just ask it anything like where is stockholm located so let me run it there you go so you see there is an answer in the bottom section here and you can just move this thing over there hopefully okay it's not going let's try and you can ask as many questions as you like from your model you can ask what is happiness and then it is going to give you the response there you go so this is how easy it is to install MindsDB locally then manage the integrations and then doing the inference with it and the, as i mentioned earlier there is a lot to it i will be covering in the future videos so i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or issues let me know in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching